good morning. Seems to be I'm the first one out. It's uh, 6.30 in the morning. So this is where the Camino starts, at this gate. Sorry guys about the flickering, but I had the camera set up for American standard, which is 60 megahertz per second, and here in Europe is 50. But this is the last time you're gonna see it, I promise you. It is said that at the start of every journey, one must say a few wise words. I got nothing. Fuck it. Day one, I'm heading for the mountains. Today promises to be one of the hottest day in the whole trip since we had to cross over the pyramids. Uh, we need to climb 1400 meters or about 4,000 feet over 21 kilometers or 13 miles. This should take me anywhere between six to seven hours. Wish me good luck. For a moment there, I thought about listening to some music on my iPhone, but no way. I mean, listen to the birds, man. If you come all the way here, to France to walk for a month and just bring back all the old habits and miss the beauty of the countryside, it's not for me. During the steepest sections of El Camino, you can do the classic zigzag pattern or you can just push through. And so I'm leaving the pavement behind and into the open country. Now, if you ask me what my expectations of El Caminos are, is that leaving all the stress of your daily life behind and just going back to a, to a simpler time, to embrace the, the stillness of El Camino. Not all those who wander are lost. I know exactly where I am and I know where I'm going, but it's just gonna take some time. Now, at some point in the last five minutes, I crossed into Spain. Now, I was expecting something in the road to mark the occasion, you know, coming from the US, maybe a wall, too soon. <laughs> but there was nothing. The only way that I could even tell that I did it was because of these markings that you see on the road. There's the, a white and blue stripe for France, white and red for Spain. Oh well. Uh, good morning, sir. Now let's see what we have here for breakfast. Café con leche and tortilla española, or Spanish omelet. This will become the staple of my breakfast in the coming days. Remember what I said about the border between France and Spain? Well, you can forget about that because uh, the lady back there just told me that I'm 10 kilometers away from it. So, yay! <sighs> Walking in the mist. Complete and total whiteout. Of course, the temperature drops, so the dilemma becomes between being cold and dry, or putting on my down jacket and then sweating and being wet and cold. Walking in the mist. Da, 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 da. I'm a horrible singer. Wow, that shrine really brought it home. I mean, it's rare, but people do die here. This shed you see here is a refuge uh, during winter times. In case you get stuck here during a storm, 
you got a place to crash. Made it to the highest point in the fog, the cold and the rain. Uh, this place is marked uh, the Battle of uh, Rontes Vox in 778 took place. The song uh, of Roland is actually written here in this monument. It's in French, so... But uh, yeah, a little further, almost there. That is an eerie shot right there. Now there are people here that even bring their dogs. I've also seen people riding bicycles, running. It's a madhouse. Now, according to the guy that I talked to on my last stop, the guy that gave me the last French stamp, the temperature was 10 degrees uh, Celsius. And that's not even considering the windshield factor. My mouth right now is numb. I don't know if you can tell that I'm stuttering. So I had to bring out my uh, my gloves. I'm still not gonna wear the, the down jacket because I know I'm gonna sweat and that's gonna be even worse. Made it to the border. Let me get some water. Finally, I got some water. They have Wi-Fi at the border. Just like that, I'm in a different country. According to the sign back there, I still got eight kilometers to go before I reach the albergue. But I'm officially in Spain. By the way, the battery on the microphone just gave out. I guess it's because of the temperature. Uh, I was getting also a warning signal in the drone. Uh, he said the temperature was too low. So hopefully it will come back. If not, I guess I'll have to buy another battery in one of the towns up ahead. Oh, well, the sun is coming out. Five point two kilometers to go. This is the part where the trekking poles would have come in handy. Now, if you saw my my gear video, you saw that I was gonna bring two of them. But then I was thinking, I'm only gonna use it one day. What about the other thirty-four days? They were just gonna take up space in my backpack, so I left them behind. But I have my trekking shoes and that gives me a good ankle support. You know, yesterday I was contemplating not bringing any water in the first leg of the trip. But I'm glad that this morning I bought a half a liter of water because I did not see a water tap in the first two hours. And so far I'm working on my third one. So finally made it to town. The guidebook said that it was gonna take uh, seven hours and 15 minutes, but I did it in seven and 50. But like they say, El Camino should be done at your own pace. It is not a race. If not, you're just gonna burn yourself out. And this is where I'm gonna be staying tonight. A quick note now that I'm here in Rosas Valle to the Spaniards, this is where El Camino officially begins. They get very picky about saying El Camino Frances and to them it doesn't really start in San Juan Pied de Port, but it starts here. So uh, get with the program. Here's the reason why I decided to write my name on the back of my shoes. Well, this is me. Looking for 172. 172. Okay, well, I got the top one. So check this out. Only two outlets for four beds. That's where this bad boy comes in handy. Now I got three. 
So I took a shower because I was reeking. Damn. I have my clothes now drying out back. Let's explore this little town. It's not even a town, it's more like a church with two albergues and two restaurants built all the way around it. I was trying to come up with a quote this morning that would describe the, the feeling of starting this journey and I drew a blank. I thought about it during the day and I think I came up with something interesting. And it goes like this. And so the story goes that with a single step an extraordinary journey unfolds. That's all I get. <laughs>